Hello everyone. I am back to work. I actually just arrived in Toronto, Canada. Yes, I am in Canada. Um, I am starting a, it's probably going to be a 38 day trip. My August schedule and my September schedule bumped together. As you know, that sometimes happens. And um, I am doing another sub service. So as uh, you seen last month, if you watch my vlogs, I was doing the sub service for Mongolian Airlines. And this month and next month, I got assigned sub service for Air Canada. So we're helping out Air Canada and flying their passengers from here, Toronto, Canada to Manchester, England. And we're doing that three times a week, three or four times a week, something like that. Um, and it's a set schedule every week. So I think I have Tuesdays and Friday, Tuesdays and Wednesday, Thursdays off or Tuesdays and Thursday, Fridays off or something like that. I'll let you guys know once I, you know how I always do it. Give you guys the details a little later. But anyways, it is 11.47 p.m. It was a little bit of a long day. So I commercial out of Vegas on Delta at 10 a.m. Um, had a four hour layover or sit in Detroit and then arrived here at 10.30 p.m. And then, you know, once we got through baggage claim and the shuttle and whatnot, here I am. But um, we're gonna work tomorrow, not until in the evening. So at least I think I have like a 21 hour layover uh, today or tonight. Um, not planning to do anything or going to the city. Um, plus I'll be doing this for the next month. So I'll be back here a lot. So I'll probably go explore, you know, another time. Uh, but I had a nice day off. I had 11 days off. Um, if you watched my previous vlog, um, our monthly trip, we did Cali. <laughs> We're always going to Cali. Uh, we did Disneyland. You know how we love Disneyland. But, um, you know, we just went to downtown Disney to go shopping for the Halloween merchandise. Um, and then we did Morro Bay and Sequoia National Park. Um, but yeah, so back to work. Anywho, right now, shower um kind of hungry i don't know what's open so i'm just gonna eat something from my food bag so shower chill and then get up in the morning for breakfast so i will see you guys in the morning aloha what's up guys it is the next day it is about 6 p.m um this morning i forced myself to get up at 7 30 to go to breakfast they had a really nice buffet breakfast uh came back to my room i went right back to bed for about two hours and then the rest of the day, I just was getting my uniform ready and repacking Bertha and all that. So details for today and this week. Um, today, um, van time is at 7.15 p.m. We have a 10.15 p.m. departure working Toronto, Canada to Manchester, England. We should be getting into England at about 9 or 10 a.m. Uh, flight time is booked at 6 hours and 30 minutes and we are on the 767-300 and we are a crew of seven. Um, I don't know how many passengers we have. Um, for the week, uh, so our working days are Mondays, Wednesday, Thursdays. So we're off Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays for this whole month. It's a set schedule every week and just working uh, Toronto to Manchester, Manchester back to Toronto. So <clears throat> sounds pretty cool. Um, you know, today is gonna be my first flight so I'll let you guys know how it goes. And I have, uh, once we get to Manchester tomorrow morning, uh, we have a 24 hour layover. So I will see you guys uh, in England. Alright guys, made it to Manchester, England. It is currently 11.34 a.m. Um, let me do a quick uh, room tour first. This is such a cute room. So let's start with that first. So it comes with a kitchenette. Look at that, fully stocked. Well, with appliances and stuff. And this is neat how everything is built in into the cabinets. Like this is the fridge. Look at that. And then this is dishwasher and then the trash thingy slides out like that. 
So cool. Oh, it's gonna go back. Okay. And I got a nice room with the little chase lounge thingy. And then the bathroom is over here. Very nice. And let's check out the view. Oh, wow, look at that. The weather is really nice outside. It's sunny and it's about 64 degrees. It feels really nice. Um, okay, so today, uh, flight actually went uh, really well. We were completely full. I'm not too sure how much we had in the back, but I forget how much uh, passengers this aircraft holds, but um, I worked R1, so I was up front doing um, business class, and we were full, um, 19 seats, all 19 seats are full, but um, the service was really good. We have two um, ambassadors or two flight attendants from Air Canada flying with us, so there's one up front um, assisting, and um, yeah, it was a really uh, easy meal service, uh, service flow. Um, a lot of passengers slept because it was a 10, you know, 10 p.m. departure. Flight time ended up being like six hours and 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, we just did service and then, you know, everybody went to sleep. Um, but, yeah, this was really, really um, a really good first flight doing these type of flights that I'm going to be doing for the next month. Um, but I am super tired, as always, when I get off of, a, you know, these long haul flights. But it was a really a long haul flight. It was only six hours and 15 minutes. Anywho, I'm probably just tired and just talking whatever bubbles. Um, you know the drill. I'm going to take a nap, shower, take a nap, and then get up and, I don't know, I'll see if I want to explore around. I'm probably going to be hungry, so I'm probably going to go look for someplace to get some food. But just wanted to let you know, made it here to Manchester, England, and the flight went really well. Hello guys, it is about 5.15 p.m. Um, I woke up about 15 minutes ago, uh, but I got some good solid sleep. These are some really good blackout curtains because this room was dark as dark. But um, anyways, the crewmates want to go out for dinner, so um, and I am hungry as always, so <laughs> I'm going to be downstairs in a little bit. Um, I don't know where we're going, so I'm just going to tag along and see wherever we end up. <laughs> We have to pass the, the freeway, and that's what I remember seeing on the move. All right, guys. Um, so one thing about having kitchens, uh, you know, hotel rooms or kitchens, the hallway sometimes smells a lot of like food because people cook in their kitchen. So my hallway on my floor smells like curry. So somebody must have cooked curry for lunch or dinner. But anyways, back from dinner and I'm walking around the city for a little bit. Um, what a I don't know, I had a different impression of Manchester because I guess I, in my head for England, I always think of London. Um, I haven't been to London yet, but, you know, just from what I see and hear, like, I thought I was going to see, like, the double-decker school buses or double-decker buses and, like, the yellow, or yellow, the red um, telephone booths. But here, no, it's a different vibe. It has its own vibe, which is cool. Um, there's, like, universities around, so a lot of students, and usually when there's a university around, um, there's every single type of restaurant you can think of, like American and all that. So that was kind of like the case. There was like a 
one of the main streets that you know there was like a pizza hut a kfc but also mixed in with some of the local restaurants which is cool um you know what i want so that i can experience at least some of the culture here um we did find a restaurant to eat at <laughs> it was a chinese dim sum restaurant there's a lot of asian restaurants in the area so that was also like um surprising to see which i don't mind though because you know i love asian food but um also there was like a little area um so it looks like uh we seen a sign next weekend they're gonna be celebrating their um pride uh pride week so i think we're gonna be here on layover so That'll be fun to check out um, while we're here. Um, anyways, so let's see. For tomorrow, uh, we're working back to Toronto. We have a 9.05 um, car service and our departure is at 12.05 p.m. Getting into Toronto at about 2.45 p.m. So going to work back to Toronto. Uh, and right now, I'm just going to um, relax and then head to bed and then get up at... Um, Breakfast starts at 6, so I might go early at 6 since our van time is at 9. So we'll see. We'll see if we get up. Um, you'll see me in the morning, or I'll see you in the morning then if I get up for that. Alright guys, made it back to Toronto. It is about 3.45 p.m. Um, it's been a tiring day, only because I woke up tired. I don't know, I thought I got enough sleep yesterday or last night, but um, after we came back from dinner, um, I went to bed and I woke up tired. And I've just been under like, kind of like a foggy day. You know when you're just like right under, you're like 90, operating at 90%, but I, like I'm not sick or anything. I just was tired this whole day. But luckily our flight, um, our first class cabin wasn't that full. We only had 11 passengers, so um still had to kind of work a little bit more than the last flight because this flight we actually do um like a pre-beverage and like appetizer service first and then the hot meal and then we do a dessert cart so a little bit more service scene of the passengers on this on the flight back from uh manchester so um but all in all it was good and we had less passengers overall um, than our flight going over to Manchester. Um, but I am definitely going to get some sleep. Um, I'm just going to sleep and wake up whenever I wake up. Hello everyone, it is about 12 noon. Um, today, another day, um, I forced myself to wake up, woke up, wake up um, about 8.30. Actually, I had set my alarm for like 7.30 and I kept snoozing it and snoozing it because I just really needed to sleep, like a good sleep and not be woken up by the alarm. But I wanted to get some breakfast. Uh, finally got up at like 8.30. 8 and then I went downstairs and um, some of my crewmates were eating breakfast too. So I just uh, joined them and then um, came back to my room at about 9.30 and went right back to bed. Um, so I got up now and um, our van time today is uh, 7.15 p.m. So it's going to be the same schedule, you know, every time that we leave uh, Toronto and every time that we leave uh, Manchester on the way back because it's a set schedule. So 7.15 p.m. is the van time. So tonight's flight um, shouldn't be as busy like service-wise. So since I already worked going over to Manchester, you know, Toronto to Manchester and then Manchester back here to Toronto, I've seen it's two different um, services. One is longer than the other. So the one going over tonight is shorter because it's a later late night flight. It's a 10 p.m. departure. When we do service in first class, we just serve them their food all one time on a tray, um, which is, you know, faster because we it's less walking back and forth um, up and down the aisles doing like a course type of service, which is what we do on the way back. We serve them the appetizer first and then clear the plate and then we serve the entree and then clear the plate. And then after that, we do the dessert, you know, so it's like step 
courses on the way back so it's a little bit longer service but tonight's one is going to be a uh, faster one so it should be nice um, again with these flights we don't know how many passengers we get or are going to have ahead of time it's we just get that when we um, get on the aircraft I feel like I got enough rest um, but maybe I'll just take a quick nap later on in the afternoon before I have to get ready for work tonight the thing is, um, with these flights on both ends, here in Toronto and in Manchester, we get picked up so early, um, as you can tell, so 7.15 p.m. is our pickup time here. The airport is like right there, we're right by the airport. So we get to the airport so early, so once we get there, we, we sit there for like an hour, because our flight tonight is not until 10.15 uh, p.m. So we get there uh, so early. Um, it's kind of good though, because around the hotel here is not many restaurants, so um you know if i'm hungry i can get something to eat at the airport and you know just relax there until our flight but sometimes you know sitting at the airport makes you more tired or makes you tired uh, but anyways that's how they've been running this flight and uh or these flights um but now i'm going to i need to repack my carry-on so coming back coming out of manchester like tsa or their security uh, they don't play around with liquids um, so you only can bring as a carry-on one Ziploc, uh, they have like quart size Ziplocs if you don't have any, and whatever liquids you can fit in that Ziploc, that's all you can carry on. Any other liquids that don't fit in that Ziploc, you gotta throw it away. So going through TSA uh, took a little while, they were, and they really searched everything in your bag, your carry-ons. So now I know for the next time, I'll be ready with my quart size Ziploc and whatever fits in there. The rest I'll put like um, in my check-in luggage. And then, so we work back to Manchester and then we have 48 hours there. So that'll be nice. Um, I'll see if we can explore more around the city uh, when we get there.